And I've always sort of called it team jitted because it's always been my thing that it's all about the team you got. You're only as good as a team you got behind you, which includes everybody who's involved, from the owners that right through to all the lads and you know all the members of staff as well. So it's a big thing. King's staying here. Obviously, Paul's Paul's the head man at the top, but you need a team, and you know I'm part of that team, and I'm one of the more senior people of that team, but. I need everyone below me to pull their weight and you know and make the team work. You know that's why we, we call it Team Ditch It because everyone pulls together and works as a team. I started here in '91 with uh, eight horses and 20, 20, 20 odd boxes. I think it was. I just had this big thing about fitness was the key to it all, and it still is my you know thing now. Fitness, health, and fitness. You've got to get those horses as fit as you can, run them in the right races, and keep them healthy. You've got to get to know them as individuals. Every single horse needs something different, whether it's in his diet, whether it's how to keep it warm. You won't believe how some horses have three rugs on where another might just cope with one. And most importantly, the amount of work they need to get that fitness, and it, very importantly, as much work as they need to keep that fitness. Because I've always been, you work them hard to get them fit, you need to work them hard to keep them fit. All right, Donna? All right? Okay? He just works incredibly hard. Uh, he, he's passionate about his job, um, and you know he loves the horses. But he's in, he's a competitor, and he um, for as long as he uh, is standing, he will continue to uh, want to win races. End of the day, we're still trying to do our very best for each individual own and the very best out of each horse they own. Um, but as I said, that's not the be all and end all. They've got to enjoy it. Paul's unique. Um, there is only one Paul. Um, he, he's just totally single-minded, and he's just totally committed to training winners at Digit, you know, and giving people a lot of good fun. It's not just a case of writing the check and turning up at the races. I like them to be involved with everybody. I try first and foremost be honest to tell them as it is, but also try and let them get to be pals with each other so everybody shares the success and the downs with each other and they don't just feel isolated and that's what you do it for, it's a hobby. You can't go into it thinking you're going to make money out of it. It's a, it's a hobby but you've got to enjoy that hobby so we do our very, very best to make sure each and every owner enjoys it as a hobby. He can look good on paper and he can do as a ditcher. Um, but you've got to get him to the track and Paul is, Paul is better than anybody else at getting him to, to the track the first day out. It's a new challenge really, um, but it's gone very, very smoothly. I think we've got a great team. Any team, any football team, any Formula One squad, the, the, everything's always turning over, there's always new management. And I think it's good because it stops everything being stale. It's a new challenge and Cliff and I are really up for this year. Brilliant. Okay, woo! People always expect us to do well. And obviously it comes down to buying nice horses and not just Paul and myself and the team. We've got some great owners that will go and buy some nice horses. and. You know, every new horse that comes into the yard is a new challenge and as soon as we get a horse in, it doesn't matter whether it costs 200000 or 20000 It's our aim to get to know that horse as quick as possible and, and do the very best with that horse. You know, I'm not one for loads of shiny toys. I think you've got to keep it simple, work them hard, feed them well and hopefully up to now, you know, I think we've trained well over 2,200 winners and all the success we've had, we've done it right.